Hello Church, it's Pastor Steve here with our Monday Minute for March the 21st of 2022. We're uh, so glad to be back with you here and want to wish everybody a happy spring as we celebrated the first spring, uh, first day of spring, I should say, uh, yesterday uh, with some sunshine and a little bit warmer weather, not as warm as we had a couple days ago, but still we're grateful for that and grateful for this new season there. Speaking of celebrating, I'm sure uh, that many of you were also celebrating the wonderful uh, win for Duke basketball in the NCAA tournament over Michigan State. Well, maybe that was just me, but either way, uh, we're glad to be able to enjoy and to uh, watch a good game of basketball and uh, enjoy those things that we have in life that uh, we so often take for granted and that others are not able to do. And especially we uh, continue to uh, keep the people of uh, Ukraine in our prayers and uh, offer our support in whatever way that we can. One of the ways that we can do that is by uh, making a contribution specifically to uh, Ukraine relief. Uh, UMCOR, United Methodist Committee on Relief, is working with uh, uh, those who are housing refugees and uh, doing their best to make sure that uh, we can offer whatever humanitarian aid is possible. Also, while we're talking about UMCOR, this coming Sunday is one of our special Sundays in the United Methodist Church that we call UMCOR Sunday. And uh, we'll have a special offering that is available and that goes to support the day-to-day -day operations of UMCOR so that they can execute all of the relief that we do around the world. Your other donations, 100% of those go to the specific uh, project or disaster relief, or in this case, uh, resettlement relief here. But UMCOR Sunday is what funds the United Methodist Committee on Relief for the rest of the year. And we hope that you'll consider to give generously to all of those, as well as your additional uh, regular offering that you make here to the church. I uh, also want to remind everyone of our uh, schedule for the season of Lent that is still ongoing. Uh, this week we have our young adult and uh, regular discussion groups that are happening at 7 p.m. Uh, those are both hybrid, so we meet here at the church. Uh, young adults will meet downstairs. Uh, uh, the rest of the group will meet in the Asbury Lounge here, or you can also use the Zoom login to participate online from your home or from wherever you are as well. We had some great discussions uh, last week, and I want to invite you to uh, participate in those again uh, tomorrow night as well. Uh, Wednesdays, we are uh, continuing to offer our Labyrinth, which is available uh, uh, throughout the day. Uh, we do have guided times at 1.30 and 6.30. And I also want to remind you, because it is going to be coming up uh, faster than we think, that uh, Holy Week will be kicking off with Palm Sunday on April the 10th. And mark your calendars for our special services on uh, Maundy Thursday at 7 p.m. And then our Good Friday concert, which is a change that we are doing this year, which will feature the piece, The Seven Last Words, and our music groups, and as well as some other uh, folks, will be coming together to help make that a very significant event for us. And we hope that you will join us for that on Good Friday at 7 p.m. as well. Now, as we continue in this Lenten journey of uh, following a new path in Jesus, we are using the uh, study book that we're discussing on Tuesday nights by Walter Brueggemann, A Way Other Than Our Own. And in one of our devotionals from last week, he spoke about following a God who chases us and chases after us and calls us to himself. Now, this is in contrast, actually, to a lot of what we hear in other Christian circles that tell us that we're actually the ones who are supposed to be chasing God. And to justify this, they use this week's gospel passage from Luke 13 in verse 5, where Jesus says that, no, I tell you, unless you repent, you will all perish, just as they did. The truth is, that verse is taken out of context a lot. And when we do that, it misses the point. You see, what Jesus was doing in that one verse was actually in the context of a larger question that he was answering. Jesus was answering a question about the fate of victims of a tragedy in Galilee. But Jesus' response is saying that there is no one sin that is greater than any others. And so no matter what the sin is, unrepentant uh, folks, as uh, Jesus is referring to in his time, will all suffer the same fate. 
He was doing a comparison and a contrast, not about talking about whether God is chasing after them or not. But his response takes it a step further. He is saying then that through the parable of the fig tree, which follows up, that we can see that even when it seems like people have nothing left to give, God still tries and tries again to cultivate the soil around us and to help us to bear fruit. And this is a good reminder of what Lent is all about. Lent is not about satisfying God so much as it is about cultivating in ourselves an understanding that God is with us through it all and that we will give ours best to God and God is already giving us nourishment and strength, especially when we feel barren. Lent is a time that moves us from repentance to death of Jesus on the cross and dying to our old selves thereby so that when we encounter the risen Christ we cannot help but want to follow him in a new life but the point is is that God comes to seek us first and God continues seeking us for all of our lives and God will continue to follow us through all of our days as we continue in this Lenten journey it's a good reminder of how we can be more aware of how God is cultivating and pruning us as human beings. So that following Lent, we can be the ones that bear much fruit in the kingdom. That we can repent of our failings and our shortcomings. But we can also live joyously following in the path of Christ. And that is what it means to be on that journey of faith together following in the path of Christ that has already been laid out before us, and knowing that when we fall behind, there is a God through Jesus Christ who is going to chase after us and bring us back to God and to help us to start over again even when we fall so that we can be picked back up and we can be made new and we can be made whole and we are not going to be left barren. So as we go into this Lent this week, let us continue to follow in that path and let us continue to follow in the ways of Christ, knowing that we're being renewed and made new each and every day. Now, friends, next week I'm going to be on vacation, and so I'll be turning the Monday Minute over to some others for the next two installments. But in the meantime, I want everybody to stay safe, continue to follow along that path, and to continue to look for the ways that God is reaching out to us and God is calling us thereby to reach out to others. If we can do all of that, then we know and we trust that this journey we don't take alone and we'll be even better people growing in new disciples of Jesus Christ as we follow him. And then I'll look forward to seeing you back here in another couple of weeks in, uh, as we start to begin Holy Week and have another edition of the Monday Minute. God bless you on this Lenten journey that we take together, and we'll see you then.